To conclude our all Lost Continent eating extravaganza, let's do a review of the Fire Eaters Grill here, right across from Poseidon's Fury. Let's do it. Of <laughs> All right, so Kyle, what did you get from Fire Eaters Grill? So I got a gyro, gyro, gyro. However you want to call it. Whatever you want to pronounce it. It's um, supposedly a combo of leaf, of, Jesus, of beef and lamb. So you know, leaf if you want to combine. Leaf, it. <laughs> leaf. Yes. What'd you get? I got water. Classic. See how that, that delicious gyro gyro is, looks like a gyro or a gyro, however you want to pronounce it. Let's we'll see how it is. Goes. I never had uh, uh, lamb before. Oh, never really? Had, never had leaf before. <laughs> leaf? There we no. go. Bottoms up. I'm not going to lie, it's pretty good. Hey, that works. Again, I never had lamb before, so it's really hard for me to ascertain what it tastes like by itself. It's really salty. Yeah. But I don't know if that's a byproduct of lamb or it's just salty. <laughs> I mean, um, your meat in general is pretty salty. I think it's got some tzatziki sauce in there. Yep. Some lettuce. I got some lettuce. Tomatoes, um, it looks like. The pita's pretty fresh. I mean, for quick service. Especially when you're used to, like, your burgers and your fries. You can't go wrong. We well, even got some Greek honey puffs. Oh, yes. You got to try the Greek honey puffs. So we'll go all in on these bad boys. There we go. Ooh. They're really light. Really light. More so than a donut hole. Which was all I was expecting it to be like. Yeah. The consistency is actually lighter than a donut hole. That said, it tastes pretty akin to one. But they're still good. Nice. I like it. Alright, Matt is gonna go ahead and try one of the honey puffs. So uh really yeah, let's, let's see how it goes. Damn. This is actually uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty soft in the middle. A little bit of crisp on the outside, but hey, you all like it crispy. Oh yeah, very nice. All right, so I got the chicken stingers, which are buffalo chicken tenders with fries. So I'll have a fry first. It's a classic theme park fry. It's good. Now let's try one of the iconic chicken stingers. Bottoms up. Pretty classic buffalo sauce. Not particularly spicy. A Little bit of sweetness, which I like. So for theme park chicken tenders, these are pretty good. And I like the fact they have an option where you can just get them dipped in buffalo sauce. Now my turn to try one of the, the famous Greek honey puffs. Let's see how this is. That's really good. Reminds me of kind of a combination of like a beignet and a donut hole. But it's really tasty. So definitely a, a unique and interesting theme park dessert. All right, boys. So what do we think of Fire Eater's Grill? I had water for uh, quick... <laughs> Good job. He had water. He did have water. <laughs> for uh, quick service, counter service, theme park food. I can't complain, man. Honestly, yeah. Really it was can. it was really tasty. The uh, the chicken tenders were good. They had nice flavor. Uh, it was it was really enjoyable. So fries were warm. Pita was soft. And those uh, those Greek honey balls. Those Greek honey balls were light and airy. And, they were. And, and, and Greek. <laughs> and balls. And I think they were a ball consistency. Yep. So that's gonna do it for our taste test. Thanks for watching. Uh, new videos on this channel air every now and again, so hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell. That we know when new videos drop. And uh, we'll see you on the next Taste Test adventure. Bye.